Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Vice President, members of Congress, my fellow Americans. Today in America, a teacher spent extra time with a student who needed it and did her part to lift America's graduation rate to its highest levels in more than three decades. An entrepreneur flipped on the lights in her tech startup and did her part to add to the more than eight million new jobs our businesses have created over the past four years. An auto worker fine-tuned some of the best, most fuel-efficient cars in the world and did his part to help America wean itself off foreign oil. A farmer prepared for the spring after the strongest five-year stretch of farm exports in our history. A rural doctor gave a young child the first prescription to treat asthma that his mother could afford. A man took the bus home from the graveyard shift, bone tired, but dreaming big dreams for his son. And in tight-knit communities all across America, fathers and mothers will tuck in their kids, put an arm around their spouse, remember fallen comrades, and give thanks for being home from a war that after 12 long years is finally coming to an end.
Americans, my fellow Americans, men and women like Corey remind us that America has never come easy. Our freedom, our democracy has never been easy. Sometimes we stumble, we make mistakes, we get frustrated or discouraged. But for more than 200 years, we have put those things aside and placed our collective shoulder to the wheel of progress to create and build and expand the possibilities of individual achievement, to free other nations from tyranny and fear, to promote justice and fairness and equality under the law so that the words set to paper by our founders are made real for every citizen. The America we want for our kids, a rising America where honest work is plentiful and communities are strong, where prosperity is widely shared, an opportunity for all lets us go as far as our dreams and toil will take us. None of it is easy. But if we work together, if we summon what is best in us, the way Corey summoned what is best in him, with our feet planted firmly in today but our eyes cast toward tomorrow, I know it is within our reach. Believe it. God bless you. And God bless the United States of America.